Hey guys, today's video is going to be on how to secure your ends um, so that they are super, super tight. They have no little bits flicking up on the end and also so that they're obviously not going to come unraveled as well. So this is something I find a lot of our students do struggle with um, or just a lot of people that do weft hair extensions in general. It's the first thing that your client's going to come back to you with. If it's not done correctly, it's something that's going to be uncomfortable. If it's poking out from the sides um, and it's definitely going to cause you issues and problems uh, in your business if you have people's wefts coming undone or the ends coming loose. So they're the main parts of the weft that you need to get right in order to have it secure, uh, in place, nice and tight, and also make your clients super happy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in to my dolly head here. I've already started her weft. Um, and I'm going to show you how I do my ends and this is also how I get my staff to do my ends as well. Uh, I find it works really well. Obviously with hair extensions we are putting something foreign in their hair. So there's only so much that we can do to make it feel as real as possible. But we can definitely do that in the best way possible. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in now and explain what I'm doing while I'm doing it. So I'm just going to turn the camera off for one second. Okay, so as you can see I have... Um, got myself to about an inch from the end here. I've done a double knot just before I reach my hand end so that this part here is going to be double sewn and extremely secure. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now for you. Now once I get, oopsies, once I get to about an inch away from my end, I start coming in really nice and close. So I change my sewing from about a centimeter apart to about half a centimeter apart. And about every second time that I do a sewing section like this, I come through and I come through my loop again and I create a double knot. Now this is going to make it a lot more secure. It also keeps a lot more tension in the thread so that as you're moving along you're not losing tension. So I'm going to continue along there now, really nice and close together as I get towards my ends, making sure that I'm putting those double knots in there. This is a little bit difficult to do from the angle I'm doing it right now so that I can show you guys the end. However, you will get the gist. Now, when I get to the very end, what I normally would do, because normally this would be a client, would be get a tiny little piece of hair from here and actually get my client to hold that really nice and tight on their head. Now, this is going to create tension. It's going to make it nice and tight so it's not drooping, but it's also going to make your life a lot easier when it comes to sewing that end down because you're not trying to deal with um, a piece of weft that's kind of flicking around. So continuing on, going nice and close, making sure that when you come through to do your knot, you're going again through and doing some double knots on there, keeping it really nice and tight. When I get to my very, very end piece here, there's a little trick that I like to do, which is a crisscross. So I come from outside my weft and I point my needle back into the weft so coming down from outside the weft and then I'm going to pull up on that angle, making sure that that's a double knot as well. Point up on that angle like such. And then I'm going to come from this way, pointing outside my weft and do the opposite. So I'm creating like an X on my ends. and coming up on this angle now. So I've created a little X in that end there. Now this is going to be extremely secure. It's gonna make sure that you go in and out, out and in, and create an X on that end. Then come straight back down through the middle of them. Again, doing a double knot. So that means coming through the loop once, then through the loop again, and pulling up for tension. Use your thumb to guide your knot where to sit. Don't just pull up without any guidance. Use your thumb to push the knot into place exactly where you want it to be. Now, I'm not going to finish sewing my weft here. What I'm then going to do is come back over what I've already sewn for about an inch. So I have a double wefted end. So coming back towards the inside of my weft, again, about half a centimetre apart, You'll see this is extremely raveled up and it's nice and tight. My client's going to feel really secure, especially when she's styling her hair, not have little bits flicking up at the end. There's nothing worse. 
than having a loose end with your weft. Now when I get about an inch back in, I can do a triple knot going through my loop three times, pulling up nice and secure, and then I'll cut and finish off my sewing. So I'll zoom in so you can see that a little bit more. So you can see my end is nice and raveled up. If you have a little piece of hair like this, it's just over directed. You can just get your tail comb and you can just flick him back down. So that's really nice and easy. I find, especially when people are learning, they tend to have a lot of over direction. What that means is that you've pulled hair from somewhere else when you're sewing. So make sure as you're sewing, you continue to brush your weft down to keep everything in line. Just like that, nice and secure. Double, double sewn on the end there. I hope that's really helped guys. It's really important to double sew your ends. It's especially just as important to do it when you're using the silk wefts. They can buckle and they can be a lot more slippery because they're a lot flatter than the machine weft. Uh, so if you want to know more about our courses, if you want to train with us, jump online, www.jayanhairacademy.com.au. We have a bunch of online courses and we also do have our master classes here in Brisbane and we will be back up and traveling again next year for our full masterclasses in our hair extension west.